The processing center orbiting Prosperitas Prime felt like home. Thick matte glass surfaces and rich leather seating within guarded atmosphere took Jewel back to all those places she'd grown up to despise. She shrugged her way through the waiting crowds and pulled her jacket tight around her, as if it could provide armor against all the th all things corrupt and corporate. An assister bot, noting the new arrival, made a big line towards her. Jewel had no desire for drinks or directions, nor the patience. She held up her hand and waved waved the bot away before it could begin its service recital. Jewel couldn't resist a little smile at its credit-driven determination. This place was as archaean as they come. With that thought, she stepped upon the reception desk. Okay, um, I think this is meant to be the... Um, wa waved... Yeah, and waved the bot away before it could be begin its... Okay, yeah. so I'm just going to change that. Um... Jewel couldn't resist uh, oh, why, why I mark corrupt and corporate is that I'm I'm thinking maybe flipping it. Armor against all things corporate and corrupt. Yeah, I think yeah. As if it could provide armor against all things corporate and corrupt. Yeah. I think yeah. that flows better. And also why I marked glass is I want to replace it with a different material. Mm -hmm. Because all with in all the future and space and smart materials, glass is actually really out of place. Like it's uh, for all the environments that we have set up, it's too heavy, it's too fragile, it is it's too old school. <laughs> okay. So prob I'm, I'm probably gonna, uh, I'm not even gonna make up a material, I'm gonna say something like translucent or, or something like that. Meanwhile, some materials will stay old school like leather and uh, leather and fur and all the, you know, all the nat natural stuff because mm -hmm. that, uh, that links back to the world building. <laughs> uh, <laughs> <that's really laughs> fun.